and welcome to Kicker Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll go to create another backdrop and we'll go to use a ballroom kind of more Victorian look. So for this, I'm just using from a ballroom preset exp plus expansion. Again, um, you can watch uh, resources, our first tutorials, and I think second when I'm going over where you can get these models. So we'll go to preloaded first the base. And next what I'm going to do is preloaded expansion. Again, this is very inexpensive ways. And expansion just add a little bit more like chairs and some other one right here. You can see some effect. So this is very nice model. I like a lot. Let's have it nice details, unbelievable amount of details. A very beautiful, perfect for backdrop. As well, you can customize open doors, close it, so you can have a lot of customization done to this move everything. Uh, for the tutorial and for the speed, I'll just leave it as is. So I won't be modifying that many, but just let you know you can do it. As well, what I like about this precise model, we have it one wall is open right here, so you can expand to something else. Or in this case, actually, what we can do, we can take easier our camera. And we can move after in but before we do this so I'm kind of going to save this model and we'll do actual position everything inside the view but before save it remember if you want to modify if you want to take the doors adjust and something you know open close the door be sure you um, done this inside the poser okay so let's go ahead and save it it's simple just save as poser file so we'll save as a ballroom Okay, and I think now we're ready to go inside the view and start work here. Okay, so we'll go file. We'll import the object. We'll take a ballroom. So let's go ahead. Let's take a second to import it. I'm again, I'm using a single frame. Query relations. I don't want to use it, uh, shader tree from poser, but you can if you like it. So again, it's personal. I like to modify my materials inside the view right here we have it um, some models come with a strange material preset and this is one of them so let me just reposition okay what I was meaning by kind of strange because if we look you can see everything start glowing and it's kind of unbelievable so um, the reason is why because some of these models if we look inside and look on reflection, they set the reflection way high. So what we want to do instead, we want to take this reflection and bring all the way down. But beside this, how who handle, because some of them is metallic, we want to go inside this and set this all the way to metallic. So that way we have a nice reflection, still have it all coloring and everything. As well, we probably want with a BAMP map applied, we want to go and reduce to 0 0.01 or something very low on a bump map so you can see how all this object is right now glowing so let's preview set to the screen so you can see how the by default it's almost unusable for us with this so obviously we need to go inside and modify all of these materials so what i'm going to do i'm going to start to working on these materials and after when I'm done, I'm going to, um, okay, let me readjust these ones. When I'm done on a one, I'll go to pause tutorial, still I'm finished with all materials. And so it doesn't take this necessary time and we can after a look on this. So let's go ahead, we'll start with one. In normal, I look bump map, this is look fine to me. Okay, I'm going to cycle to next. Right here, I can see right now, this is way high on the reflections. So I'm going to set the reflections down, effects, and pop up on global metallic. So we'll go next again right here, same things, metallic. And you can just cycle through all of them. Okay, we'll go reflection down to all materials. So far it's not bad, it's only 50 different materials here. So we can kind of modifying, but you need to go through all of them one by one. And ways applied as well as a bump modified but bump materials I probably will go come back after and just to be sure they're okay um, okay right here we'll go to reflection 
decrease reflection right here so we'll go over this is overall how we do um, how you can go through all materials be sure they're all set properly in some cases you probably want like right here go and reset a little bit on the highlights so highlights will apply properly for example on this wall right there okay so let me go ahead I'll do go over materials fix them this way um, and when I'm done we'll unpause this tour okay so after when you finish um, adjusting your materials and again it's highlights you can see it's look already better we don't have this ugly um, kind of reflection popping up so the colors look bright the next what I want to do it's preset a correct lighting but to do this sometimes it's hard with a roof on top so what I'm going to do I'm going to create new layer and I'm going to set some of this separate pair layer so I'm kind of adjusting in some case right here we have a base table round table piano all this you know um, presets so I'm going to take them place in this layer okay you know just set up maybe here this will be one I left those cannon layers we'll leave it there we'll take chairs move them away as well okay let's go to um, this is our doors so we'll leave it and I'm going to hide this so it kind of disappear right now go create another one take a uh, ceiling ceiling right here and, you know maybe just take a put it some wall windows this wall as well okay we have it okay we have these walls so just separate them on that case what, what's happening when we start working with the light setup we can see a little bit easier okay and if we hide them you can see we kind of open and right here I can see easy ways my color and other stuff like heating so I can easily adjust them okay we'll go to actually set up create of this one and I wanna see if they are aligned properly okay so that look correct okay let's go next work on the lighting um, I want to simulate with what kind of real have it, uh, real lighting so we'll go create one more layer layer let's call it lights okay and I'm going to set up a first light okay right here actually you know what let's start with this one kind of on the wall okay bring the light source up just bring slightly above so you can see it's kind of adjusting and I'll go to set this to 10 maybe 10 is too much so set 5 for now and let's set this to most kind of, kind of like maybe yellowish warmer color okay so one light is done next it's kind of easy you just copy and place them above okay so they're right here I'll go select three of those lights same copy hold down alt button and move so we reposition them over lights right here okay we have it now on this side so we'll go same move to this place okay right here let's go to um, rotate them Oops. I think I grabbed the wrong one so we'll just position them right here okay again alt drag okay do another one okay let's see I think one more yeah right here so 
this is one we set up lighting as a counter so they're all over next what I want to do I want to stop on top of this um, I'm going to just select those and group them together so I know they're set on a wall kind of wall light now let's select one copy paste so I just have the same settings and I'm going to adjust and place this right here okay, just above kind of error right here so this is one light okay same call down on button and drag so it's kind of copying and I'm just going to place them right around okay right here and you know what we have it next we have a little bit more lights right on this side right here and we'll just set up go move up just above so right here one more on this side on this side this side and this side okay when we're done with these lights we'll go up control G to group them together okay we'll go one more let's select it and move this one same alt so we'll copy all of them and we'll just go and move them to this layer so right here place it okay right now let's go to render preview you can see now we have this lighting properly applied on the walls and other places so it's look kind of interesting this way we'll go take our camera you know what let's take camera and move it a little bit more out for example I want to see this top kind of layer so we'll go just like this set positioning properly okay you notice we have the lights going from outside it because we still have our sunlight so let's take sunlight away okay next in atmosphere editor so we'll go to set lights global velocity uncheck this two okay next we'll go to the sky and just if you want it take this all the way to the down so none of them will affect Okay, well done. Let's go click preview. Okay, you can see we have very nice lights accurate. We want to add one more light maybe right here in the fireplace. And again, if you want to increase you all what you need to do, because the same value will select and we'll maybe add eight values. And now you can see we have it brighter, look more natural, realistic look okay, to our scenery. Okay, next what I'm going to do is create a firelight. Okay, we have a fireplace right here. So we'll go create one more light source. Bring it down and it's probably right here will be yeah, just on the middle about. Okay, for that one actually I want to create a red orange color. And we want to take it down. I don't want overwhelm, I just want to see a little bit light inside. Okay, so let's go see where's my fireplace right here. We can bring it out. Okay, so in this case I can take my light and just place a little bit more inside of the fireplace. hide back let's click preview at this point okay maybe a little bit even too much for the fireplace so let me go set maybe to six I just want slightly light not overwhelm too much and overall this lighting I can pop up maybe safely to 10 let's preview see how it's going okay I think this is look very more realistic look, kind of Victorian. OK, 
okay we can also rework after on light pop up a little bit higher um, as well what we can do we can take it one of the light right here placed from the point of the camera okay so it will right this place okay, we will need it increase softness on this increase spread so it's cover all this this is will be our ambient light overall covering Okay, maybe it decrease fallout, a little bit more on the softness and drop power just slightly down. Okay, as well the floor, I want to actually rework a little bit on the floor, so let's find okay, open right here, we have it our ground. So what I want to do on this one, I actually want pop up highlights slightly up shiny so we'll have a shiny floor pop up reflections and set them okay I'm just looking there you go okay, let's preview so you can see we see some lights reflecting in our floor so I was going after a little bit more effect again this is grainy so it's what the soft light give it to us when we start applying the lights but overall you can see it's kind of lighting up from this point again um, we don't need to use this one we can easy disable and have it more natural distributed light um, however I don't know if I want to keep it soft light or this so we can modify and see which one will work better okay so let me go and select these lights okay we'll go pop up to 12 make it brighter and just pop up softness slightly okay I think we're ready so let's go ahead select final again I'm rendering on no resolution be sure they enable relighting so we can modify a little bit we don't need to reuse indirect lighting that is set let's go modify just modify a look inside our lights so we set optimizing unchecked indirect unchecked sunlight so this is all look good we'll go start rendering i'm going to pause this tutorial and we'll come back after render is completed Okay, so right here completed. You can see we still have our relighting, so we can readjust individual lights if we need it. Okay, maybe just bring closer, darker fireplace, our wall lights. So for now, I'll just leave it like this. Um, couple things. Sometimes maybe these lights become too distracted, so we can actually go inside and remove them as models, so make them um, remove from the render, and that is actually maybe help us to remove some distractions from above. But for this one, let's leave it as well. You notice some grain. This is grain actually we can fix. I'll show in a second. First, let me go ahead and save this and save again. I will save as HDRI and we'll save as a ballroom. To reduce some of this grain, we need to go inside Atmosphere Editor and right here just bust up quality overall as well. Beside that, when you start rendering on ultra or super quality at least or user defined, you will can remove those grain and become very clear, very nice and smooth looking um, ballroom. So we've done this one. Let's go inside. Again, I'm using Photomatics Pro. Um, you can use any other one, HDR processing software. I found this one work very well for me, so I'm going to select one, select ballroom, click OK. You see how brighter here, we'll go tone map it. And one thing, we have it hotspot before I'm worried on the screen. And that's why I like HDR, we have it hotspot, right lights, but and lose some details. So like example, okay, right here you can see um, 
two hot spots see we're kind of losing those details right here we can bring them in which is nice and still have this nice lighting so this is the reason why i like to use it after a jar to tone map it those too dark or too highlight spot, uh, spots okay let's look overall on the string so we'll leave it right here just look on the color saturation so i want to bring this up luminosity right here you can see hot spots what i'm looking for okay again um maybe something around right here in the middle to this one okay let's look on detail contrast This is look a little bit too dirty, so we'll just leave it around this area. Okay. Well, now smoothness on highlights. So this is probably around 20. So right here, smoothness you can see how it will apply it. So we'll just leave it about that way. Okay. As well, let's check on a white point. And here we have some details, probably run around this area. Let's pop up Luminous to a little bit up. You see with tone mapping, I have details on these highlights. She's gonna give me a nice ambient light. Okay, let's see on a black point. Okay. Yeah, I don't want it too much, so I start probably around this area in the histogram, so I don't clip too much. Okay, as well as temperature, we can look from around this area. Okay, again, this is all on personal taste, how you like it, which one you appreciate, um, better like it. So I think I like this way I'm living, and I'm going to click process now right here adjustments of contrast again if you want to bring a little bit higher points so i don't want to have too much contrast just slightly small teeny tiny curve okay pop up sharpness okay and then the colors here's where we can go a little bit more crazy so we can bring aqua way up blue so it's give it this richness right here you can see okay, red on the cushions chairs purple slightly magnetic so we can pop up a little bit more crazy right here so you can see richness of those colors okay we're done let's go save it and i save as a tone map it okay let's go ahead open in photoshop and compare okay again remember this is our backdrop so it will go under and we can modify a little bit more but this is what we got in view without tone mapping it's look not bad it's look very good nice depth but i think with hot spots and other ones it doesn't this is look much more interesting so we have it a little bit more tone map it a little bit more flutter but it's again this is not our subject our subject will be like a problem aside so they compare and it's another reason why i like use it hdr we always can um Kind of take these images and overlay them together if you want to bring both so we can go between both of them you know or example in the future we can always go to um okay, let me go right here flip this okay and we can go and just maybe bring something Something more between uh, two of those images you know if you like it some may be grinchy or darkness in one image we can always can kind of going can modify like this so you can bring combine those two images together and bring but again is with full composition and this render.
Hey, thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember to visit us on our web is www.geekatplay.com.